What's going on guys? We are back here another solo Saturday video and as you can see we're getting ready to jump into Crota's end. This is the 390 version of the strike. I'm going to be taking you through the first part, the lamps, on every single one of the three characters starting off with my hunter. So this is how we're going to run it. We're going to be really taking advantage of going invisible. This is how you're set up with your blade dance. You're going to go with the flux grenade, uh, vanish, then of course shadow jack, escape artist, and stalker. And as far as your weapons, really use whatever you want. The gear you're going to need your don't touch me. This is going to make sure you go invisible every time one of those pesky thrall uh, come up on you. Now, as you can see, I'm going with my fate bringer solar shotgun and then my has in vengeance you guys can really use whatever weapons you are most comfortable with but we're gonna jump right down here and get into this but while we're dropping in guys i want to give a huge shout out to bevel up uh one of my subscribers i believe they're a subscriber they did donate to the channel earlier this week huge supporter that's uh it's amazing it's Basically, they said they really enjoyed these solo Saturday videos, so this one's going out to you, Bevel Up. I uh, appreciate the support, and I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, once you finally land in the pit, you're going to want to make sure your health gets back up to full, and you've got your, uh, what am I trying to say? You've got your weight of darkness down to zero. So with the Hunter, like I said, you're going to be focusing on going invisible. So there's a couple of ways you could do that. One, by slapping one of those Thrall. Uh, as soon as you hit them, make sure you keep running. You want to stay away from all of those exploding thrall and uh, get to the next lamp as quickly as possible. They don't see you. Wait for your way to darkness to get down to zero and then head on to the third lamp. Now at this point, you may have enough time where you can take advantage of the uh, little ducking mechanism here. Soon as you go and viz, wait for that uh, weight of darkness to again drop to zero and then make your way on. So as you can see here, this is the pattern. Now things are going pretty easy for me right now, but they are going to pick up, get a little bit more difficult uh, as soon as these thrall tend to uh, catch up on you. But for right now, you know, just focus on using the uh, duck mechanism to go and viz because you want to make sure you keep your melee for when you really need it. And your melee and also uh, the ducking, they're going to make you go invisible for a little bit longer compared to when you actually get hit by a thrall. You know, when a thrall does that melee damage on you, um, you don't go for invisible as long. Oh, so right there, I did not wait long enough for my weight of darkness to go down. So when I do get to this lamp, I'm going to have a pretty high weight of darkness. We're going to wait here for a second. See a whole bunch of thrall back there. Let's throw a grenade, try to take a few of them out, and then we're on our way. Uh, now you can hear those thrall, they are right behind me, so we're going to keep... If you jump while you're running, I don't know if it's just me, but it tends to get you there a little bit faster. Let's turn around, try to fire at a couple of these. As soon as one of those thralls hit you though, um, stop shooting. Because if you shoot again while you're in viz, then you're going to come out of being invisible, and you don't want that to happen. All right, so up here we've got our, uh, we've got the, uh, what am I trying to say? We've got the knight and a whole bunch of thrall right on top of us, so we're going to keep moving. We want to get to this next lamp, try to get behind the lamps, and so maybe sometimes the thrall don't see you as well, but then we're going to duck down. Duck down and uh, keep moving. So we've already made it through, I'd say, at least half of this thing. And we've already passed that first night. There will be a second night a little bit further along. But uh, you guys see the pattern we're going with here. All right, so there you go. One of the thrall did come up on my back, hit me, and we're back to being in viz. So we're going to run up to this next lamp and a whole bunch of the same. So we're going to wait here, actually, and see if we can just shoot these thrall. Then we're just going to run. We're just going to run now. Okay, so there is the second night. So once you get to that knight, you know you need to actually go up the hill right here. And we're going to take advantage of using that slap. And then we're going to go up this hill. And we're almost at the final part. Final part gets a little dicey, gets a little hard. So you're going to want to make sure you have a full melee charge once you do get there. But once you get to the top of the hill, probably duck down. You're going to want to make sure you can sit at this lamp until you get your weight of darkness to zero. Because we're going to go right to the final area so make sure you don't fall in that hole that i almost did right there 
and then we're gonna run this way uh, get onto this lamp right here and try to kill some enemies we're gonna try to kill somebody's thrall um, and then you're gonna be making use of these little pillars right here all right so there you go right there we had to use our uh, melee attack and you know what? I haven't stood on this plate yet so there we go so a little trick I do is um, stand right next to a thrall and then as soon as you come out of that invisibility, they're going to slap you, and you're good to go. And here we go again. Uh, if things get a little too crowded like they are now, try to run away. I've got my melee. So slap one of them, and then we're just going to keep running around. You're going to want to, you're going to need to use these rocks for your, um, for cover. For when those wizards, the knights come in, and even that uh, ogre. So here we go, there we go, we got one of those guys hitting us. Now for this next spot, we're going to try to get, we're going to use our super that makes us go invis right away, and we're going to hang out right here behind this rock. Hopefully we stay away from those exploding thrall. One more time, going to go invis, and we got to stay away from these exploding thrall. That's going to go, oh, we got a wizard right there too. And we gotta get close to one of these guys, so as soon as we get seen, slap him once again. Alright, we're getting close, we're getting close. Time should be just about up. There we go, we're still in viz, and the bridge should now be formed. And there you go, guys. Now all it is is you gotta make that mad dash, keep jumping, because you do have that ogre that's gonna be shooting you from behind. Uh, once you get across, you should be okay. Just do a little bit of zigzagging through this area. And you just gotta get to the end. Don't stop. There's a ton of thrall behind you. You are by yourself, so dying here would be a real shame. But other than that, there you go. Just make sure you're spacing out those invisibility tricks, and that's the best way to do it. Alright, so next up, as you can see, we're going to be working on the uh, Warlock. So the Warlock, the way I go through with the Warlock, is Voidwalker. And it's all about those Nova Bombs, Energy Drain, Soul Steel, getting your life black back, all that good stuff. So we're going to go with the Vortex Grenade, because this is... Seriously? These Thrall come up and shoot... Come on, guys, I'm trying to do a little bit of the intro for the Warlock here. Alright, so... Back to where we were, Voidwalker. I like going with the Vortex Grenade because it kind of creates a little safe spot when that Vortex uh, you know, damage is going on on the ground. Same thing with the Nova Bomb. Want to use the Vortex Nova Bomb, which continuously damages enemies trapped inside. After that, we got Soul Rip, uh, the Hungerer, and then, of course, Embrace the Void. So you can see the whole thing here. And actually, before I get out of there, let's talk about the weapons. All about the Bad Juju, Event Horizon. You're going to need a good sniper and then... Uh, Rocket launcher, machine gun, that shouldn't matter, shouldn't come into play, and helmet, obsidian, mind. So this is going to help basically recharge my super after I kill a whole ton of these um, thrall. Uh, I do have a chest piece with extra sniper ammo, and you're going to see you're going to want a nice sniper once we get towards the or to the end, to the final area. Well, as you can see, just spawning in here because it's a lot harder with the Warlock. You can't go invisible and ignore everybody. You gotta deal with these enemies, so you have a couple of deaths. And what we're gonna do here is try to jump right to the second lamp. Of course, we're faced with two exploding thrall right away. I'm gonna try to run around them and get ourselves to that second lamp as quickly as possible. Turn around, look at the ground, drop a void grenade. If you have to, hit some melees in there as well, and then run to the next lamp. Uh, that Void Grenade should take out just about all the Thrall. You're going to do the exact same thing once you get to the third lamp. And turn around, get some melee kills, keep yourself alive. Once you get past the first three lamps, things tend to uh, get a little bit easier because the Thralls are kind of, they're, you know, they're all directly behind you. So as you can see, once again, we... Um, we drop that grenade off, but man, I am not getting lucky by killing all the thralls. Usually if you drop that grenade the way I'm doing, you can take all the thralls out. The good thing about doing that with the grenade is it not only creates the uh, ability to respawn your grenade very quickly, but it also regens your health. So once we get up the top of this hill, it is a little bit easier, you get a little bit of a breath, and 
turn around and start killing. Now, if you need to, drop a grenade down there. What you want to just wait for is your weight of darkness to drop to zero. Then you're going to make some long runs here. So we even haven't even used our Nova Bomb yet, and looks like we may have our first... No, not yet. What you want to do is kind of hold off on using your Nova Bomb until there's a big group of Thrall. And then what you're going to do, kill all the Thrall. Make sure your health isn't down in the red though, because if your health is too low when you throw that Nova Bomb, you may end up killing yourself. So right here, I'm going to just rely on the grenade, get that kill as I need to, wait, a m wait for my weight of darkness to go down, and then we're going to be on our way. But what I was saying, with the Nova Bomb, if you get enough kills, you can get your Nova Bomb to basically instantly respawn, uh, which we're going to try to do right here. Uh, our health was a little low. Oh, that knight is still up, so we're going to run right past this area up to the next lamp. Yeah, so there's two lamps that have knights. We just passed one. You can hear him. He is still right behind me. Let's throw a uh, grenade here to give ourselves some cover. Any of the thrall that get too close, they're going to kill themselves. Try to get your super up before you run to the next lamp. That's one of my rules I try to always do. Now, make sure if you used your super, Make sure your super is up and ready to go before you make your run to the next lamp, just in case you need to use it. Um, there, I didn't even wait for my way to darkness to go to zero, but hopefully we make it. Doing our jumps, I can hear we got a whole bunch of throw behind me. Drop that Nova Bomb off, and plenty of kills. Again, Nova Bomb will create that void little vortex on the ground, creates a little bit of a protective area for you. And next, we're going to just keep going, and as you can see, I got that... Uh, ready to go. Alright, so here we're going to drop another Void Nova Bomb, and that final night was coming. Once you get to that second night, you're going to be running up this hill, and you're getting close to the final, the final stand, I call it, before you try to cross that bridge or build that bridge. So what you do, you want to hang out in this area where I am right now until you've got a full you know, weight of darkness is gone. So it's also going to be very beneficial to make sure you've got um, your super. You're going to need your super. Oh crap, once we get to this area, health is getting pretty low. You're going to want to run right to this lamp. Uh, once we get to this lamp, we'll turn around, drop a grenade off, try to get these thrall. And if we need to, drop another Nova Bomb, take all of them out, wait for your weight of darkness to drop to zero. Then we're going to jump up onto this little platform here. And we're going to sit on this rock. So if you sit on this rock, you should be okay. What you're going to want to look at is that lamp right there. We actually skipped over that lamp. And the reason I do that is because it's all lit up. It's easy for me to see. And specifically because there's going to be an ogre that spawns back there. What you want to do is take a couple of seconds and shoot that ogre. If you let him get too close, he's actually going to start glitching. And he's going to transport or teleport real close to you. And you're not going to be able to take him out. Or he's just going to take you out real quick. So don't shoot him too quickly. You know, don't take him out. He's really the only enemy you're going to need to worry about. Uh, we're going to slowly shoot at him. Because right now you can see he's kind of fidgety on the ground there. And we almost... Alright, so he's if he walks around that lamp, we've got his health down nice and low. So we can kind of hang out where we are right now. If he starts to shoot at us, we're just going to kill him because his health is so low. So just keep him in your sights. All in all, you're going to just be hanging out here, waiting for that bridge to form. It's probably just about ready. And that ogre is getting close. Now once we kill him might spawn some more enemies in uh, but there we go that spawned the bridge and it's a little bit of a cheese on the warlock but that's the really the only safe way to do it because if you hang out in the middle like we did with the hunter since we were able to go invisible with the hunter um, there's really no way to stay safe you've got that weight of darkness up to 10 so you can barely move so the best way is to hang out on that rock and there you go that's what's gonna get you through the first part of the abyss, run into the light, collect your rewards, and Warlock is complete. And last but certainly not least, we've got our Titan here. So let's take a look at how we're going to be setting up this Titan. And actually, I hear a uh, Exploder Thrall trying to get close to me. Yeah, alright, we're going to ignore that guy for right now. We got the Defender Titan. 
want to go with the magnetic grenade and then we've also got what is this the blessing of light you want to make sure you get that extra protection and most importantly you want bastion and untouchable on there otherwise set it up how you want gotta go with the zalo supercell that thing is going to charge up your super really quick that's what you need to do you gotta keep that bubble going as quickly as possible i like going with a shotgun and a rocket launcher for some knights but other than that on the armor side of things you want your helm of saint 14 that's going to keep you protected in that bubble by disorienting all of those damn pesky thrall as they try to chase you all right guys spawning in we're getting so close to doing this on the titan but haven't gotten there yet this is the magic run this is the time you guys hope you're paying attention so let's go first lamp get there hang out for a second wait for your way to darkness to drop down to zero jump over these thrall do whatever you need to do get around them watch out for the exploding thrall they're gonna try to kill you get to the second lamp turn around and whip a grenade at their heads and then get moving you want to make sure you do have your super though you need your super you need that bubble once you get to this third one drop the bubble uh run out the back side then run back in take your sword out and get some kills you want to try to what you're trying to do here is charge up your super as quickly as you can because you want it before you leave this area if at all possible but make sure you get out of there before that lamp blows up um, things get nasty if you're still there and the lamp blows up so we're gonna get to this lamp here turn around chuck another grenade you have to use your melee you just want to hang out here till your way to darkness is gone and then you're on your way so this next part we've got a little bit of a hill to climb skip the lamp up at the bottom up at the bottom skip the lamp at the bottom Run all the way up the top here, and you're going to hang out at this lamp at the top. Reload your Genesis Chain. Two things you want to do here. Get your Weight of Darkness to zero. Get your Super up. Once you have both of those things, reload and get out of there. No reason to hang out. It's a long distance to the next lamp. And make sure your Super's up because you're going to need it. Once again, this is the next lamp. Pop it on the left side again, just like before. Run out the back. Run back in. And it's sword time. Um, try, maybe try to conserve some energy, maybe throw a grenade as well. Whatever you gotta do, get as many kills as you possibly can. You should be able to get at least halfway here, but uh, run before that lamp blows up. Even if you don't have your super all the way up, you'll be able to pick it up as you run past these next areas. So we don't have our grenade, we don't have our super, so we're just gonna have to rely on the good old Genesis chain, doing some damage here on these thrall. Um, that's all you could do. As soon as your weight of darkness drops down a little bit, get running. Now, unfortunately here, we don't have our super. We don't have, or we do have our grenade. Ooh, watch out for that knight. And we gotta run. We gotta run. We gotta jump. Do whatever it takes to get to that next lamp. Oh, we got a ton of thrall on our back. Jump up. Get down here. Maybe pop our bubble here one more time. Hopefully we can pick up some super or some heavy while we're in here as well. Alright, so see health's getting a little low. Run in, run out. Um, and kill all these thrall. Time to run. Lamp's about to explode. Time to get out of there. Unfortunately, we have no sword ammo. And that's going to be a problem. Turn around. Try to pick off as many of these guys as you can. We were, tr again, trying to get our super up. And we're going to need that. Um, before we get to the end here so luckily we've got our grenade one more jump kind of just throw them at the at your feet there oh look at all that look at all that well let's play it safe here let's play it safe let's pick up that super we've got plenty of sword ammo now that's what i like to see let's work on work on getting that uh super up and before things get a little too crazy let's get out of there so we're moving on always get hit by that damn fall in the ground turn around chuck a grenade should be able to get a few kills there it's gonna help you watch out there is a knight floating around here somewhere but get out you want your weight of darkness down to zero before you start running up this hill run up this hill all the way to the top we got to get up to the slamp as quickly as possible we're gonna get here and again two things just like the last one get your super up and get your weight of darkness down to zero once both of those things happen get out of here uh, no reason to hang out and get your health low like I just did. 
So we're gonna get going. We need to get to uh, where are we going? Where are we going? We need to get to the next lamp, and I'm totally lost. I'm going the wrong direction. Let's get here. Turn around. Throw that grenade and get onto this plate. You want to pop your super right here. Run forward. Run back in. And okay, guys, the final stand part. This part gets very, very hectic, very, very quickly. Um, you need to get kills. Oh, get in that bubble. Get in that bubble. Uh, we need to get kills. We need to get our next bubble up before this one runs out. So whatever it is you need to do, you have to get kills quickly. Um, get them in here. Get multiple kills. Whatever it takes. You need to get that super up as quickly as possible. Oh. Uh, all right, getting uh, getting a little frantic here. Watch out, you're gonna have some exploding thrall. As soon as that bubble is up, step back a little bit, pop the next one here. Try to um, take out these knights if you can. They're gonna charge your super up the fastest. Uh, make sure you're popping in and out of the bubble as quickly as you can. Uh, it's just gonna help you charge it faster. Get back in. Uh, watch out. All right, need some, need some, uh, need some help here. We gotta get some, gotta get some kills. All right, we got our next super. We're gonna lunge to the back a little bit more. All right, so the bridge is available. We're gonna hang out here for one second, and then we want to run. You don't want to jump up too much because you do have an ogre that's shooting that beam of light at your back. And there we go, guys. It's all about chaining those bubbles together at the final part, and then you can make your way into the light at the end of the tunnel. Man, finally completed this on the Titan. By far the hardest character. By far the hardest character. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you're hitting that like button. If you want to see some more solo Saturday videos, I got plenty more coming. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.